Hi everyone, Arjun Al Page, and I'm starting by putting some texture on my page. I've got this stencil, and I'm going to use some modeling paste. Usually, I use a joint compound, but I found this modeling paste very cheap at the cheap store, of course. So I'm just going like this. Now I'm not going to do the whole uh, page, I'm just going to put it randomly and my page is already gessoed, I just thought that it would be uh, easier to work on <clears throat> with gesso because I'm planning to use some uh, acrylic inks and it's going to be very uh, wet here so I thought maybe the gesso will just help it along, I don't know. So I'm not trying to be precise or anything, I'm just putting down some texture. Downside, now I will have to <laughs> wait for all of this to dry. So I've got this and it's uh, nice and I like it, but some of it I don't want, so I'm just scrapping it and I don't want a straight line, so I'll just scrap whatever I don't want, like so. Yeah, maybe, just maybe... I think I will add a little bit more here. Don't know why it didn't. Yeah, good enough for me just to have some interest in the back. So as I said, this needs to be <laughs> completely dry before I do anything more. And I need to clean my stencil. Never uh, leave a stencil with modeling paste or joint compound. So I'll be back. And I'm back and I hope this is completely dry. I want to start uh, putting uh, some <coughs> acrylic inks. I've bought them a long time ago and I hardly use them. I think uh, just because I, ha I expected it to be more like alcohol inks and it's a different story altogether. But I'm going to give this another uh, chance. And, well, let's see, I think I'll put uh, some here. I've got this one is Amsterdam and Othello Blue. This one is Della Rowney and Dark Green. Okay. And I've got more of Amsterdam acrylic ink. This one is turquoise blue. Seems like the pipette is clogged. I'll put it here for now. And maybe I will use... Do I have an eyedropper? I don't know. Maybe... Well, I, I'll figure this out. Oh, here it is. I have one. Okay, so I've got this. And I've got turquoise green. We'll see what happens. Now, I'm taking a a brush, a round brush for a uh, watercolors and the reason I'm using this is just because you can load it with a lot of water and that's what I'm uh, wanting to do. I want it a... Uh, I don't really want to start spraying my my page so I'm instead I'm just loading the brush with water 
like so. Just adding water like this. I'm moving this aside a little bit so I can let it travel a little bit. Okay, so more of this darker blue here. I'm going with the flow of my texture. I don't care if it goes beyond the texture, but mostly it's going to be where the texture is. So just putting more of this with water. Maybe I will I won't have a choice and I will have to use some water spray. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, going for a little bit of the green, mixing it. So I won't have a solid color, I want variation. I'm thinking maybe spraying a little bit, splattering. You know me, I have a problem with white space. So switch to the turquoise and I'm just playing now. More water. Letting them mix and blend together. I don't want harsh lines. Now I've just almost cleaned my brush. Just so I won't have harsh lines here. Almost let it blend into the rest. Okay, again I'm almost cleaning my brush and I'm hoping that it will almost fade into the white. Okay, I have a baby wipe here and I'm also dabbing a little bit just to take away from the excess and so the splatter again won't be so harsh against the white background that I have here and now I'm just adding a little bit more color where I think it's needed otherwise there is no plan to it it's just playing with the colors yeah i'm leaving it be and once again this needs to be completely dry before i continue i'll be back okay so this is dry and i really like it but i want my texture to be a little bit more a uh, visible so i'm taking gesso here with this flat sponge it doesn't have to be this kind uh, any kind of flat sponge and I'm taking gesso but I'm dabbing it and trying to have as little as I can and so I can brush it very carefully on top of my texture and as you can see here I've missed but it's not that important I can probably also do it with some hard bristle brush just 
making sure I don't have too much on my brush. Like so. Of course, if you don't like something like that, you don't have to. You could just leave it as is. And I've used acrylic inks, but this can probably be achieved by using acrylics with a water or a sprays and uh, that you have and watercolors I just really want to use my acrylic inks that well they were not cheap <laughs> and they're just standing around and I'm not doing anything with them so it was about time that I've used them Let's see, maybe just a little bit more here. And as you can see, sometimes it gets in where I don't have texture, but I don't care. I can also go and add just a little bit more white, very gently, just so everything would look more blended. Yeah. Okay, I like it. Moving on, starting with my focal image, I've got this a uh, bird image. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I, it's from the Graphic Fairy website. Uh, I'm almost sure about it. And now I'm just going to adhere it to my page. And I'm thinking of uh, painting over and not leaving it like this, but right now I just want to just I'm putting a lot of uh, glue Let's see Maybe a little bit more here. Good thing about uh, acrylic inks, once it's dry, it doesn't react to watery stuff. So I can put as, as much glue as I want. Mm. Trying to be gentle here. It's just printer paper. But I'm putting a lot of glue to make sure it will stay in place and will be adhered. Oopsie. Managed to tear some leaf here. Okay. Stay in place, please. <laughs> lots and lots of glue. It's it's curling and I'm trying to flatten it. I will uh, trim the excess later. Right now I'm just wanting it to stay in place. And also I've got texture underneath the, so it doesn't help. Okay. Seems good enough. And of course this needs to dry also and another thing that I want to add is this flower 
and this one is from a uh, some stack of uh, 12 by 12s and just cut it and it's more thick than printer paper so I'm just going to use this a uh, tacky glue if it will come out okay one flower here and maybe here yeah so now everything needs to be dry again of course so I'll be back okay so everything is adhered now I just want to add some color and a stem for my flower I'm starting with the leaves I've got here and I've got some uh, acrylic paint some deep green some uh, dark brown and that's what I'm going to use for the leaves and this uh, trunk and I'm just going to start laying it down maybe with a little bit of water so it won't completely cover the lines that are already here something like that I'm uh, coloring it more so it would be a little bit more distinct than uh, what I've got in the background otherwise I would have uh, just let it be so switching to the green I want a lighter shade so I'm just mixing it with the leftover uh, gesso I've got here let's see nah, you can hardly see it I need to ch I think I need to change the shade of green that I'm using let's see maybe this green okay whatever <laughs> I'll use this green and also add a little bit of the white gesso and I'm not trying to be precise I'm just adding some color like so I could probably have used some uh, Posca pens it would be easier to color but I'll stick with this um, as you can see I'm adding a little bit of the darker green and uh, I'm just playing with the colors and here I could have uh, used the darker because uh, here the background is lighter so and here it was darker that's why I couldn't have used it only thing I'm trying to do is that I won't have a solid color all the way solid color tends to make everything look uh, flat So I've got quite a job for me in a coloring the leaves quite boring <laughs> to, <laughs> to watch me do the same thing over and over again so again I'm going to come back when I'm finished with this and I'm also going to do some stem for the flower 
and we'll see I'm not sure if it's done or if I want to add something else to the page I'm leaning uh, towards adding some words or just stamping some script stamp I don't know yet we'll see so I'll be back I'm back so I uh, finished with the leaves I just went around my flower with a black permanent uh, marker just because the lines here are black and I wanted everything to look uh, almost the same I just want to uh, define more uh, uh, parts of what I've got here like some of the leaves I wasn't very careful with the acrylic paint so now I'm just adding a little bit of definition again with the permanent black marker just so everything will look more I don't know cohesive <laughs> in place not going and just blending with the background just so it would be a little bit more defined that's it <laughs> lost my words <laughs> so that's what i'm going to do and uh, again this will take some time and i want to add a little bit of a uh, color to my bird and i've got some a uh, jelly roll pants and this is some red metallic i don't know how it would look but we'll see okay it's quite nice and it's easy to to add but i want just a little bit more orangey color so it will correspond with my flower so i've got another one here that doesn't seem to work that's great let's see another one Okay, so I'm kind of mixing it with the red because I don't want it to be completely neon uh, orange and just maybe so parts of this bird will be more defined. This is a, an old uh, print from my old printer that was an inkjet and when I used the glue to go over the bird so it just like smeared some of the ink so it's mostly gray where it's supposed to be white in areas that are supposed to be white and that's part of the reason that I've decided to go over and just add some details and color to the bird and also so it would be more in line with my flower yeah okay this is nice now I just need to uh, finish going around the leaves and adding a little bit more definition to them and I'll come back okay so here we are I'm quite satisfied I just want a little bit more details so I've mixed again two uh, acrylic inks just because they are here and I'm 
trying to use them and just to make some orangey a uh, color that will go again with the flower and the bird and I want to do a little bit of splattering and I'm doing it gently I don't want to overwhelm my page So, and maybe just a little bit more of this yellow to lighten uh, everything up. Yeah, with a little bit of the orange. yeah this is it i'm not touching anything more <laughs> so this is it i hope you liked it thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now